Everybody already knows that I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. Not news. You know what else isn't news? Ghostbusters 3. I'm gonna walk you through the history of Ghostbusters 3 rumors right now. Harold Ramis would name drop some people that he thought could be the new cast as part of Ghostbusters 3. Sound familiar? The cast he was thinking of at the time, which we gather was probably a joke, was Will Smith, Leo DiCaprio, Ben Affleck, and Matt Damon, which sounds pretty ridiculous now, and it was probably pretty ridiculous then. In the same year, Ernie Hudson would say that he'd been talking with Harold Ramis about a Ghostbusters 3 since about 1994. By the end of 1999, Dan Aykroyd had confirmed that a script for Ghostbusters 3 was in the works, but the studio was not interested in pursuing it given indie hits like The Blair Witch Project. The entrance into the new millennium was a slow couple years for Ghostbusters news with both Sigourney Weaver and Harold Ramis being quoted as saying that they didn't think Ghostbusters 3 was going to go anywhere, but still, people were talking about it. 2003 is where things seemed to pick up because Film Force and Proton Charging got a hold of what was an early draft of a Dan Aykroyd script for Ghostbusters 3. It's in this draft that we start to get a sense of what the modern day Ghostbusters universe was going to be like as envisioned by Aykroyd. There were about 50 ectomobiles, franchises all around the world, a big office tower of Ghostbusters International. At this point, that news is 10 years old. By 2004 and 2005, it's apparent that Dan Aykroyd is, and still will remain, the biggest cheerleader for the franchise. It's in these years that Harold Ramis moves to not interested, along with many others, but he did give a sense of what the story would be about, in the sense that Hell is an existence that's parallel to our own, existing in the darkness between the 24 frames a second of the film. By the end of 2005, we start to see that the entertainment news organizations start quoting each other in this circular fashion of somebody publishes a rumor or some quote, and then other outlets start picking it up and reporting on it as though it's news. It was around about this time that the only new thing to add to the fray was more casting rumors. Ben Stiller was talked about, and probably by extension Owen Wilson at the time. In 2006, Dan Aykroyd starts hitting his liquor promotion pretty hard, and finally lays the Ghostbusters 3 rumors to rest. It's not gonna happen. What? Okay. I'm telling you right now, and I'll give you the honest scoop. These are all false quotes. Harold never sent any of that stuff. Are we all gonna move on? And right. However, in the same year, Harold Ramis says that Dan Aykroyd's script is finished and has some technical issues that they have to work out. It was a vague reply, which essentially confirms nothing. It was this year, 2006, that Ernie Hudson was quoted at Comic-Con saying that he's been hearing about a Ghostbusters 3 for 20 years. At that time, that would put that at 1986. It's also in this year that we start hearing that Bill Murray is the holdout on the project, which doesn't really surprise anyone at all, because that's sort of what his position has been since Ghostbusters 2. 2007 gets a little interesting because Dan Aykroyd starts dropping the idea that Ghostbusters 3 could be computer generated. It could be an animated film with the actors voicing their characters. But by May, he's saying that it's far more likely that you're going to see the video game the next year, which is exactly what happened. Is there like uh, a good reason to think that maybe we'll have a chance to? Uh, I would to say see that uh, more of a chance to see the video game in, in, in 08. That's going to be a hot video game. Now, the story that had been kicked around for so many years about Ghostbusters Hellbent or Ghostbusters Go to Hell or whatever the story was ended up being the video game, which had the voices of the original cast. It took place in 1991. It was a direct sequel to Ghostbusters 2 in video game form. It was still in 2007 that Ernie Hudson said he'd been approached about the game, so they were still working out what exactly the game was going to be, but he was still not sure about a third movie. I've been hearing about it. I hear about it from the fans a lot, but um, uh, I haven't heard anything officially from the studio, and to me, that's the only important thing. Yeah. 2008 is when a script is being rewritten by the writers of The Office. Ghostbusters 3. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, sir. We have two writers working on the, the, the third script right now, and Harold and I will imagine we'll take that back. In 2008, it was also rumored that Judd Apatow and his crew were going to be associated with the film in some way. The rumors were pretty vague, but of course people started talking about casting. Seth Rogen and basically the cast of 40-Year-Old Virgin get rumored as being the new cast of Ghostbusters. However, by early 2009, the president of Columbia Pictures openly shot down the rumors that Judd Apatow was in any way associated with the project. He'd read about and commented about how much internet frenzy there was for Ghostbusters and that that was a good sign, but wouldn't comment any further. However, to add more to the teasing, in April 2009, we saw this. It was April 1st. Dan admits that the video game can serve as the third installment of the film franchise if one weren't already in the works. This and it could almost serve as the third movie, you know, if, you weren't, if we weren't actually planning a third movie. There's something you don't see every day. Now, 
Now, in 2010, I actually had the pleasure to meet Dan Aykroyd at one of his liquor signings. I met the crew that would become the Ghostbusters of British Columbia at this meeting. He asked for our business card. Naturally, we didn't have one because we weren't organized yet. We were just meeting each other for the first time then and there because he wanted to invite 300 Ghostbusters to set. Exciting news, right? That me We knew that this is pretty much just what he said to Ghostbusters fans at these appearances. Good marketing move, though. Gets us excited and engaged in his product. Hey, I bought a bottle of wine. Whatever. Since 2010, we've seemed to get three to four solid Ghostbusters rumors a year. It's more of the same stuff. Casting rumors, Dan Aykroyd saying that we're gonna start next spring, no wait next fall, a script's been greenlit, Bill Murray's holding out, maybe he shreds the script and sends it back because he thinks it's garbage. Aykroyd also denied the rumor about Murray shredding the script and sending it back to the writers. He said Murray is not capable of such behavior. Maybe it'll happen someday, maybe it won't. For me, it doesn't matter. A third film, or the whether it's good or not, or whether it exists or not, doesn't make me love or hate the franchise anymore. I'm still gonna have a proton pack on my wall, I'm still gonna suit up as a Ghostbuster and do stuff because I love the universe. You have the two feature films, you've got the cartoon, you've got comics, you've got video games, you've got franchises making fan films for your enjoyment. So there's plenty of fiction out there to consume even if it's not in theatrical feature-length films. So everybody just pump the brakes and forget about Ghostbusters 3.